Well, you may have seen the signs for SNPJ when you drive through Petersburg, but what is it? SNPJ is actually a borough in Lawrence County. It's 500 acres of land with 60 rental cabins and a 20-acre lake. As 27 First News reporter Rod Cowan tells us, it's home to one of the most unique heritage museums in the area. The SNPJ is its own borough with 500 acres of land, 60 rental cabins, a 20-acre lake, and it's only one mile across the border in Pennsylvania and home to one of the most unique heritage museums in the area. Behind me is actually the beginnings of SNPJ, how it was started in 1904 in Chicago, Illinois. SNPJ is an acronym which translates to English as Slovene National Benefit Society. Kathy Polinich is the newly elected director of the SNPJ, and her family roots go back to Slovenia. She was my guide back in time to the turn of the 20th century when typewriters were the original laptops. The national board of SNPJ decided there should be a campgrounds and they bought the land, 500 acres here, and then through the years, of course, renovations happened. The SNPJ was dedicated in 1964, and even the pond was made to resemble Lake Bled back in the homeland. My father, being Slovenian, would bring me down here, and they would have dances and jam sessions in the Red Barn. Many people remember that Red Barn as being the start of our SMPJ Recreation Center. From that beginning, Kathy learned to play the button box accordion and embraced her Slovenian heritage. The museum opened in 1976 and has authentic time period pieces like 100-year-old accordions and even a still. This is just their traditional headdress when, when they're dressed in costume. It's not like they, they dress like you and I do okay. in Slovenia, but these are, you know, like their festival things that they would wear. They have bought these outfits uh, from S Slovenia and brought them here to America to wear at some of the events that are up in Cleveland and Pittsburgh. You can browse the displays and exhibits on Saturday afternoons in June, July, and August. The Heritage Center is even set up with its self-guided audio tour. Yeah, and there is a section old. dedicated to America's Polka King, Frankie Yankovic. Everybody knows Frankie Yankovic. You might, you might say the name Polka and it's, oh, Frankie Yankovic. I know him because he's a Polka player. Rod Cowan, WKBN 27 First News.